Now let's see if we can work with opposite and absolute value. Uh, first we'll start with opposite. What does that mean? Well, a number added to its opposite gives zero. We've already covered adding positives and negatives. So if a number was 5, for example, then its opposite would be negative 5 because 5 plus negative 5 gives 0. If you add these together, you get 0, right? 5 plus negative 5 gives 0. If the number was 10, write down what the opposite would be. The opposite of 10 is negative 10 because 10 plus negative 10 is 0, right? Um, so if what's the opposite of an apple? The opposite of A, for example, would simply be negative A. An apple plus a dead of an apple leaves us with nothing, right? Just for fun. Or if we had three um, cherries, what's the opposite of three cherries, three C? I'll just be negative three C because three cherries plus negative three cherries gives zero. The number plus its opposite gives zero. What about this though? The number is negative four. What's the opposite of negative four? Well, what added to negative four gives zero? Well, obviously positive four, right? Because negative four plus positive four gives zero. So what's the opposite to negative two? Well, positive two. Negative two plus positive two, zero, right? So let's have a look at this. Say we had number opposite, and we're also going to put in the opposite of the opposite for fun. Okay? So if the number is 5, what added to 5 gives 0? Negative 5. So the opposite of 5 is negative 5. Now the opposite of the opposite means the opposite. That negative 5 is the opposite. So the opposite of the opposite is the opposite of that. So it's the opposite of negative 5. So what added to negative 5 gives 0? Well, positive 5, right? So the opposite of the opposite of 5 is positive 5. If the number is 3, the opposite would be negative 3. The opposite of the opposite of 3, the opposite of negative 3, of course, is positive 3 again, isn't it? So we have a double negative making a positive, and that occurs all the time. For example, if, the no, if you have open, what's the opposite of open? The opposite of the door is open. Well, the opposite is not open or closed, right? So what's the opposite of the opposite of open? It's not not open. The door is not not open, right? Well, that means it's not not open is closed, so it means it's not closed. Well, if the door is not closed, that means the door is open. Oops, open. So we have two negatives, not not, making a positive. Um, let's take the word um, visible. What's the opposite of visible? Well, invisible, right? So what's the opposite of the opposite? What's the opposite of invisible? Would it be not invisible? Now what does that equal? Not invisible. If something is not invisible, it is visible, isn't it? So again, we see two negatives, not in visible, two negatives making a positive, right? 
So again, if the number is 3, or sorry, number is 13, the opposite is negative, negative 30. The opposite of the opposite is the opposite of the opposite of 13. And two ne double negative makes a positive. The opposite of negative 13 is positive 13, right? Okay, let's have a look at what absolute value is. Absolute value means distance from zero on a number line. So if we were to draw a number line like this, with zero in the middle, and just go one, two, three, four, negative one, negative two, negative three, oops, and negative four and so on. Right. Let's have a look at what this would be. The absolute value of three. Absolute value is written with two lines straight up and down. These are not parentheses. So these two lines are for absolute value. Straight lines up and down. Whereas parentheses are curved. These are parentheses and they're used for other things like containing a negative 3 might be contained in parentheses or um, 3 multiplied by 5 might you might use parentheses in that case 15 okay so absolute value is straight lines up and down and parentheses are curved this is absolute value of 3 the distance 3 is from 0 well let's see how many units is 3 from 0 well it's 3 units isn't it all right how about the absolute value of negative 2? How far is negative 2 from, your, from 0? Now distance always has to be positive, doesn't it? So if we have a look at that, how far is negative 2 from 0? Well, it's 2 units from 0, right? How far is... Um, 9 from 0, absolute value of 9. Well, 9 is up here somewhere. Wouldn't it be 9 units from 0? Yep. How far is negative 4 from 0? The absolute value of negative 4. Well, negative 4 is 1, 2, 3, 4 units from 0, isn't it? So, absolute value of negative 4 is positive 4. How far is 107 from 0? 107 units away. How far is negative 240 from 0? The absolute value of negative 240 is 240. So we can see if we take the absolute value of positive numbers, the answer is positive. If we take the absolute value of negative numbers, the, the answer is positive as well. Absolute value of a number just gives, makes it positive, okay? So write down the answer to this. Absolute value of negative 1, absolute value of 5. That's definitely positive 1, and this is 5, right? Okay. So what would this be? Um, we could have, for example, 2 times the absolute value of negative 3, right? If there's a 2 beside it, that means multiply. Now, the abs we should get the absolute value of negative 3 first. Absolute value of negative 3 is positive 3. So what we have is 2 times positive 3, 6, okay? So do this, 10 times absolute value of 4. Well, the absolute value we should get first. Absolute value of 4 is 4. 10 times that is just 40, right? How about this, though? The opposite. That's a negative. The opposite of the absolute value of 3. Hmm. What should we do with this? 
Don't you think we should take the absolute value first and then apply the negative sign? That's what we should do. We should take get the absolute value of 3, which is positive 3, then apply the negative sign on the outside, and that's negative 3. Now that's completely different to this, absolute value of negative 3. This is the opposite of the absolute value of 3. This one is the absolute value of negative 3. What's the difference? This one, the negative's on the outside. This one, the negative's on the inside. Completely different. Absolute value of negative 3 is positive 3, right? So, let's have a look at this. What would the opposite of the absolute value of negative 4 be? The opposite of the absolute value of negative 4. You read it from left to right. Well, this negative is on the outside, right? So the absolute value doesn't affect it. This negative is on the inside. So we should get the absolute value of negative 4, positive 4. Now apply this negative, and that's negative 4. So calculate this, the opposite of the absolute value of 2. Of negative 2, rather. This negative is on the outside. This one's on the inside. The absolute value of negative 2, positive 2. And we have a negative on the outside, so the answer is negative 2. Now, figure this out. What's the absolute value of... Uh, uh, the opposite of the absolute value of 2. <coughs> well, let's first of all calculate the absolute value of 2. Positive 2, right? Now deal with this negative sign on the outside. And that just goes there. So the answer is negative 2. Now, don't get confused because when we talked about opposites, we saw things like this. The opposite of the opposite of 3. The opposite of the opposite of 3, as we saw already, two ne double negative makes a positive, so that's positive 3. So what's the opposite of the opposite of 7? The opposite of the opposite of 7. Now, this is when you have the parentheses, the curve. That's positive 7. Don't get that confused with this. The opposite of the absolute value of negative 7, where the lines are straight, not curved. Straight lines up and down means you've got absolute value. And in this case, we get the absolute value of negative 7. Then apply the negative on the outside. Absolute value of negative 7 positive 7, negative on the outside, that makes negative 7, right? So figure these out. What's the, what's this? And then what's this? And always remember your pause button is bottom left, full screen is bottom right. This says the opposite of the absolute value of negative 5. Absolute value of negative 5, positive 5. The opposite of that, negative 5. This has parentheses, they're curved. This says the opposite of the opposite of 5. Well, Neg the opposite of negative 5, in other words, the opposite of negative 5 is positive 5. Two negatives make a positive. Double negative makes positive. 